Hello and welcome to this presentation on the incidence of tax. What happens when the government puts an indirect tax on a good? For example, a £3 tax on a pint of beer, a gallon of petrol, a bottle of perfume or a pack of cigarettes. Indirect taxes are taxes that we pay when we buy things from shopkeepers such as alcohol and tobacco. They're called indirect because we pay the shopkeeper or manufacturer, who in turn pays the government. In the case of VAT, the shopkeeper pays the government, but in the case of alcohol and tobacco, the manufacturer pays. You might think we as consumers will end up paying all of the tax if the government puts a tax on these goods. However, to the suppliers of the product who pay the tax to the government, Indirect taxes feel just like a cost of production. The producer therefore has to decide whether or not to pass the tax on to the consumer or to pay some of the tax themselves. We can predict what is likely to happen if we know the price elasticities, demand and supply. Let's start with the following example. Both supply and demand are neither very elastic nor inelastic. The current price is £3 and the quantity supplied and demanded is 4.4 million. An indirect tax pushes up the costs of production and the supply curve moves upwards. We show the tax with a vertical line between the two supply curves. And we can also see that where S2 and demand meets, a new price of £4.50 is formed. Can you see that the tax was £3 per unit? However, the price rise was only from £3 to £4.50, not to £6. This means that the suppliers must have paid the other £1.50. The consumers are therefore paying the pink shaded area in tax, whilst the suppliers are paying the green shaded area Thus, suppliers are absorbing half the tax rise. With a special word in economics to describe the situation, we talk about the incidence of tax, and in this example, the incidence falls evenly on consumers and producers. The government tax revenue is equal to the grey box. In the, this case, that's £10.5 million. Now, what do you think might happen if demand was inelastic? Would the incidence of tax be any different? This time demand is shown much steeper to reflect the price inelasticity. Supply has been left the same, and we start off at the same position where price is £3 and quantity supplied and demanded is £4 million. Again, an indirect tax of £3 moves the supply curve upwards. The price rises, but not quite to £6. The supplier absorbs some of the tax rise. But the consumer ends up paying £2.80 of the tax, and the supplier only 20p. So the incidence of tax is falling mainly on the consumer. Notice, however, what happens to the tax revenue We'll come back to this later. Now, what if demand is perfectly inelastic? The tax moves supply upwards. The price goes up the whole three pounds. And the incidence of tax falls entirely on the consumer. Again, note the tax revenue. Now, what's going to happen if demand is elastic? Here, if demand is elastic, the supply curve moves up, the quantity demanded falls. If the supplier passed on all the tax to the consumer, the price would go up to £6. And note that at £6, there is no demand. So the supplier 
has to absorb most of the tax. And the incidence of tax falls mostly on the supplier. Note again what's happening to the tax revenue, and we'll come back to that later. What do you think would happen now if supply was perfectly inelastic? If the government put on a tax of £3, it would, in my example, wipe out all of the supplier's revenue. Here I've drawn what would happen if there was a £2 tax, and as you can see, the supplier has to pay all of it. But what if this time the supply and demand are both very elastic? What would happen to the tax revenue and the incidence of tax in this case? Because supply and demand are so price elastic, any price re rise reduces the quantity demanded so much that hardly any tax is paid. In fact, in this case, it's only 1.5 million. Now let's look at things from the government's point of view. If you were the Chancellor of the Exchequer and you were trying to raise money, what sort of products would you tax? Did you get that right? If the government is trying to raise revenue, then the more price inelastic the demand or the supply is, the bigger amount of cash they'll collect. For all the previous slides I've shown, the effects of a unit tax, ad valorem taxes will have a, a similar effect in terms of the incidence of tax. However, remember that for an ad valorem tax that S2 is not parallel to S1, but instead the two curves diverge as quantity supplied increases. Thanks very much for listening.